all of that stuff up. And it didn't save it. I feel disrespected. Babe. Don't you think a ball has touched your babe? You're walking by it. No. Oh, no, it didn't. It saved it. All right, I'll take it back. Babe. Babe. He really sat down. Man. I was trying to ask him. Hey, y'all. I was trying to get babe to pour me some um champagne so we can go be surgeons. All right, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I ran out of time. So if y'all want, we can do a part three on another day that's not today. But I feel like, I want to say I let y'all down. Usually I'd be coming out the gate with somewhere between like 40 and 60 surgeons. That one time that I did 79 surgeons, we talked for like two and a half hours. So we're not doing that today. He really not going to pull my glass. Babe! But today I don't I don't have thirty. Well, you're also not saying on the on on the phone because this Instagram doesn't like me as much. I guess I gotta put my time in and do my Instagrams consistently before they go back and let me do it unlimited. I'm gonna have to pull my own champagne. I'm too spoiled for this. But today I have twenty two surgeons. I think for y'all. And as soon as I give me some champagne, we can dig in. Because Instagram is going to cut me off. I am multitasking. I got food. Apparently, I got to get my champagne. By myself. How y'all doing? How's y'all day today? I got two unicorn glasses. Babe, please make me open this champagne on my own it gives me anxiety I didn't do nothing to apologize for I'm sorry I apologize babe I'm good. I'm almost at my surgery weight goal. Hey, congratulations. That's something to celebrate. <laughs> See, it gives me anxiety. Thank you. I got champagne. I got champagne. Uh-oh. Actually, this isn't champagne. It is Prosecco. One of my clients is becoming a sommelier. And she... Shit is, uh, the, 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 the shit. It all Prosecco. Yeah, but I say champagne. Prosecco and champagne are not the same. Man, They're different. The same no. Yeah. No. They are not the same. Yeah. Nope. Shit. Yeah. You're wrong. Except you're wrong. And you're... I'm not complaining. I actually like your Prosecco. I was going to. And not because you told me to. I was going to do that anyways. Okay, y'all. So let's get into these DR surgeons. Uh, uh, what's my shirt say? I just tossed it on because I was cold. It says, I'm busy being a unicorn. Which is true. Oh, I then So. I have 22 surgeons for you all. And it's not even a full 22. Somebody had asked about Carrera. I couldn't find Carrera. Are you sure Carrera's in the DR? And while Carrera is a common, um, I don't want to say a Dominican name. It's a common Hispanic name. I couldn't find nothing. Not nothings on nobody named Carrera. But um, we're going to start off with uh my, i'll give you my list of 20 the 20 surgeons are tactic simo franco reyes jacon carlos saint hilaire carlos velasco julio geraldo uh daniel rodriguez 
Guichardo, Maldonado, Franklin de Jesus, um, Michael Ferreras, whoever Carrera is, I don't, I don't, I couldn't find him. Eduardo Garrido, my handwriting is some trash. I think the longer I do this, the worse it gets. Um, Rami Mejia, Alberto Redonado, Gladys Polanca, Polanco, Gladys Polanco, Rafael Hernandez, Ty, what the fuck does that say? I think this says Manelic Mejia, Carlos Lopez Colado, Rodrigo Escobar, Jaramillo, I think that's what that says. Um, no, I don't, th unless I looked it up wrong. Where's my other phone? Field trip. Um, the Jacome that I looked up was, in, I thought it was in DR. Cause we're not doing Columbia today. We're still doing DR. Please don't be dead. It's almost dead, but it's not dead. Um, the body beast is your... Jacome, what's your Jacome's full name? Because I, I might have looked up the wrong Jacome. Alright, what's after this one? Um, Luis Andre Cordero. Jose Hungria. Um, Maziel Guzman Reyes. And then Franklin Pena. That's who I have lined up for you all today. Uh... Cool. Yes, I know my battery is low. Mind your business. Ain't nobody asked you. Jacome. What was his full name? Jacome Franco Reyes. Right, let me put Franco Reyes. Jacome. Ah, hell. Nah. I mean, he bombed, but that's still not even right. He's not in the DR, y'all. Apparently, he is in Mexico. And I liked him. Shiggity. All right. So, next week, we're going to Georgia. The following week, we're going to L.A. And then I can double back to um, Colombia and then Mexico. That's the lineup. Let me write it down before I forget. So, next week, we got Atlanta. Well, not Atlanta. Georgia. We're going to do Georgia. Then what did I just say? What was I eating that broke me out? I got Georgia. I just had a brain fart. Yo, what did I just say? Oh, LA. Los Angeles. Colombia. And then Mexico. All right. If anybody has any requests on any area that you would like me to look up for you all and study or whatever let me know and i will add it to the lineup because we do this every tuesday we we're few surgeons it is tie takeover tuesday i got tired of y'all asking me so what do you think about this surgeon and what about this surgeon and who do you recommend for blah 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 and originally i was only gonna do this one time and i was like cool i'm gonna do this and don't ever ask me about no surgeons ever again until I realized how many surgeons there are. It was overwhelming. And what I'm finding is. And I'm really really excited about today. Is. Um, I have so many people who I really love. The blue is. I super banged with them. I don't think I've ever had this many surgeons. And I was like ooh. I love you. And I love you. And you and you and you. So thick gal fit. Who is your. Is your surgeon in the DR? Who is your surgeon or is your, or is your surgeon in Columbia? Um, because we may wind up finishing up early today. Um, I will take requests for certain surgeons and I can look them up online. So if I have an A already covered the surgeon from the DR and then B, if I don't cover the surgeon that you're interested in for the DR today, let me know if there's any surgeon that you want me to cover and I'll look them up 
Not in either place. Okay, well, who's your surgeon then? He's in Pittsburgh. Super random. Yes, thick girl. I'll look up your surgeon in Pittsburgh. <laughs> um, but uh, have a surgeon in the DR that you want me to review? Question mark. Post. All right, um, pin comment. Sweetness! What's my schedule look like tomorrow? I still don't understand how to use this phone. Ooh, it's an early day tomorrow. All right, then. Cool, so let's get it started. Um, Tomsic with real doctor skin thank you i will look him up for you baby because you're right it's random as shit um dr tom sick all right cool very first surgeon of the day we have is uh tactic simo i don't know if it's simo or simo but um I love I've worked on a tactic doll before what I will say is that tactic is more so for skinny clients um, he does a very very good skinny BBL he is very talented at finding fat and on clients that typically my fiance joined us y'all say hey bae not you but y'all say hi to bae and he came over and opened my wine for me champagne back to tactic so tactic um i've worked on a tactic doll before and she did look really good she healed good she healed natural she had um nice gluteal projection and he went above and beyond in trying to find fat on her so the notes that i took on sac on tactic and his name is spelled t-a-c-t-u-k last name is simo s-i m is a mary o um slight natural Ty what the fuck did you right here I think that's a slight natural curve um I don't think that he was aggressive but he did a great and now but think about it so because this isn't a bad thing you don't want to be overly aggressive on slimmer clients you want someone who is going to work with the cams that they are given and they're provided on a bbw okay cool you can be aggressive but not on um slimmer thinner clients and that brings me i want to update last week i talked about cynthia disla i was unaware of how many clients disla consistently burns like i just want to cancel her now and then she gave that dumbass excuse talking about oh that girl looks like that because of my hot burn ma'am you would have been better off saying nothing at all versus some dumb stuff like that saying that it oh, it was the faha burn faha burns are superficial dermal abrasions due to a heightened amount of friction going across the skin when the skin is in such a fragile compromised state that comes from not wearing uh, a tank top underneath of the garment that can, i mean even if it did break the first two skin layers you would not see the white meat from a faha burn like all right i even give you a credit and be like maybe maybe it was a chemical burn like that there, there is a heightened amount there is a possibility that it could have been a chemical burn that was not um a faha burn and i'm offended and insulted that she would even try to say some stupid stuff like that and insult our intelligence um the girl had that is a lipo burn there is some necrotic tissue but it's more lipo burn tissue than necrotic tissue but yeah her that girl um so that i want to highlight and commend tactic because that was one of the things that as i was going through his work i noticed and i was like mm, you only work on skinny girls for real for real give them nice natural curves but he's not really aggressive that is a good thing uh when you are slimmer you don't have a lot of fat you don't have a lot of tissue to you um you've had previous surgeries before 
um, you have pre-existing scar tissue, you don't want somebody to be overly aggressive with you in one procedure. You, by nature, due to your genetics and your uh, the way that your body presents, you nine times out of ten are going to have to have more rounds to look the way that you want to look because it is not a smart idea for somebody to go in on you. The skin cannot handle it with the um, uh, the heat factor of the cannula. It, the cannula will heat up too much too soon in such a small localized area and wind up scorching the tissue. Thank you, fiance. He brought my wine over. Before y'all join, I, don't, I didn't even do anything. I had to apologize for something that I done did, apparently. I, there's been times where I woke up and I'm, I, he's like in a bad mood. And I'm like, fuck is wrong with you? He was like, you ain't act right in my dreams and you need to apologize. That's my fault because you can't control dream time. I got to apologize. Okay. But opening up champagne bottles give me anxiety and it makes me scared and jumpy. So I always beg for him to. And I apparently did something that pissed him off. And he was like, I'm not opening it until you apologize. And I was like, I didn't do anything wrong, so I'm not apologizing. But then I wanted champagne. But kudos to you, Tac Tuck. If you are a slimmer client, <clears throat> you're interested in going to the DR, and you don't know where they're going to find the fat, Tac Tuck is your man. All right, next we're going to move on. I mean, I'll still cover Franco Reyes Jacome, but apparently he's not even in the DR. I totally typed that up. Or was, did I look at the wrong, is there another Jacome in the DR? Did I like fumble this? Because I have a list of the surgeons that you all asked for that you wanted me to review. I don't know what happened, but that's the one I came up with. And I even gave him a blue check. I'll double back to it when I get to the Mexico surgeons. But he was bomb. <laughs> he did a dope-ass job. Now, he does do aggressive lipo. He does nice little tummy tucks. Uh, he shapes clients. The belly buttons are cute. I, I was just all kind of impressed. And he works on BBWs. But him in Mexico. I'm going to sit to that. For me fumbling. Um, see that's why I'm going to. Kavrindish. Although you aren't a fan. I'm not a fan. Why wasn't I a fan of Kavrindish? I can't even say that woman's name man. Um, it wasn't a no. I don't know if I said. Um, Kavrindish did way more boobs. Than anything else. Come on Kavrindish. I know you over here. I took notes on you. I struggle to say your name. Yeah, she was number 26. Um, yeah, so she does specialize on slimmer clients. Um, she, but she's not. So the, I didn't say I wasn't a fan of Kavrindish. I like curves. And the clients that I saw on Kavrindish, she doesn't curve a whole bunch. A lot of her clients, their waists were left straighter than I preferred. I, my notes were slim. She's not big on giving curves. Clients were left straighter than I like. Um, she does great boobs all day long. Like, can't nobody touch when it comes to them boobs. Um, I, and then I put again, like, as I kept scrolling, I was like, seriously, she just don't curve. So, Kavrindish isn't bad, but out of everybody I named last week, Kavrindish is one of the people who actually specializes on slimmer clients. So, if you could just get her to, to curve that waist in, cool. If not, find you a, a bomb body contourist and post-op therapist and we'll get you to curve. Kavrindish was fine. She just doesn't curve. But a sick ass boob doc. And does amazing work on smaller girls without the post operative complications. She does boobs. I mean, she does more than boobs. It's just. I don't like cereal boxes. Can you put a dent right here and then another one right there before you go? Before we pack up shopping, you, you know, head on home. Can you curb it just a little bit more? Tell her to make it curve. And then I'm fine with Confringish. I didn't have a problem with her. She cool. I like her work. Does great boobs. Alright, next we got Carlos St. Hilaire. Now, um, if you are in the surgery world, you do know that Carlos St. Hilaire recently had a death. It wasn't um, during surgery. It was days after surgery. We don't know all of the details. I'm not going to speak on it too heavy. Um, but 
it was a this is without the autopsy um they are attributing it to and i'm going to, to kelly to curve it just in case see at a girl fantastic um they said that she had a heart attack Carlos St. Hilaire, though, outside of that is a very, and I don't want to say outside of like that, if a client passes away, before you get an autopsy, you can't pass any disposition onto what happened, why they passed away, what went wrong, where things went wrong. But um, Carlos St. Hilaire's work is impeccable, very consistent, um, has a wide range of clients that he's able to work on. Um, great gluteal projection, great hip pr projection, um, not known for a bunch of complications, good bedside manner. So it's a bit unfortunate, but there are risks in this industry. If you, and I want to preface this entire conversation, if you're interested in having surgery in the Dominican Republic, unlike America, they don't scour your health history. They scour what you present to them right then and there in front of you. Don't lie. If there's something in your health history that, mm -mm. check that top one, pull it out. If not, I'll do it. Um, but no, cool, fantastico. But um, this isn't something that you would. There's a risk. Uh, there's risk associated with everything that we do. You don't want to compound those risks because of your commitment to wanting to have surgery cannot supersede medical apprehension. It cannot supersede um, any type of contraindications because this is in America. They, uh, I would, you should have a conversation with your PCP if you want to have surgery in the DR and make sure that you are cleared, good enough, healthy enough, stable enough to have surgery before you go because while their clearances are very intense, like they wait up until the last minute, you would be like, fuck the surgery, I don't even want it no more, man. All this shit they put me through. And they'd be like, all right, you clear? And you're like, yay. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Fantastic. Hold on. Um, They don't go over any past things that, oh, I forgot we moved these boxes around. So it may not be in there anymore. I just know it was in a pink one. I'll find it right afterwards, babe. I don't know where it is. Yeah, we moved these cubbies around, so I don't remember. But um, it's it was just an unfortunate situation, and shit happens. But um, from this, we have the op well, they're working on the autopsy. You have the opportunity to learn. We, as a community, have the opportunity to learn and grow and adjust. But um, I am still a fan of Carlos St. Hilaire's work. So if you're just joining us, we are discussing, I'm doing a review of Dominican Republic surgeons based around the quality of their work. And you're not too, too late. We only got the surgeon number three. And I'm going to sit today. All right, cool. Surgeon number four. Blue check. Carlos Velasco. I was a big fan of his work. Um, he works on more than, uh, he works on more men than women. As I was going through, I was like, okay, sir, I see you. Uh, he does a wonderful job, um, with BBL, um, great boobs, low, even natural looking tummy tucks, does natural lipo, has good bedside manner was a really, really, really big fan of uh, Carlos Velasco. Last name is spelled V-E-L-A-S-C-O, Velasco. Um, if you're a man interested in it, um, uh, lipo or any type of work, you're a woman, like he goes back and forth, he got a wide range, loved Velasco's work. Um, loved the tummy tuck, loved everything about him. Next was Julio... Geraldo. It's spelled G-I-R-A-L-D-O. Um, he has really good educational images on his page. Uh, I was originally looking for um, Guichardo, Daniel Rodriguez Guichardo, but my phone corrected it and sent me to Geraldo, and I didn't realize until I was halfway through, and I was like, hey, but I like your shit, though, Geraldo. I'm going to leave you on my page. So, Julio Geraldo 
um great resource for for educate he's a great educational resource he has educational descriptors pictures images cartoons relatable moving media like he had one on there where he showed how a labiaplasty is done where if you have um or vaginal rejuvenation like there was a whole cartoon that shows the surgery and that how the extra lips are cut off and then sewn back together and then like how a client heals and it's like flatter and like just pretty and clean and neat i never thought there would be a day that i'm calling a vagina pretty i think all genitalia is weird looking but whatever but um his page was great for educating now outside of that he didn't do a lot of body procedures but geraldo did do a crap ton of stuff from like here up so breast reductions breast lifts um breast augmentations his boobs were even the nipples are going in the same direction pew 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 childish um eyelids lifts face lifts and then some of the lipo that i saw he did a great job on the lipo he is um he does really 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 good skinny lipo so if you're a slimmer girl again maybe this is like slim client day <laughs> I'm always looking out for the BBWs and I'm like, all right, who's going to snatch you to the gods in case you can't get rid of this 30 pounds that you really should get rid of. Um, but today is like skinny client surgery day. Um, he's great on educating and super bomb on skinny client stuff. All right, let's sip to him because I really liked him. Mm. Um, but I didn't see him for like booties or nothing like that. And that's okay too all right next it was like tw who asked me about Quichardo? um i love Quichardo's work he does good bbls good lipo his work is consistent and i loved his ab etching those were my thoughts on Quichardo. next we have maldonado i don't like maldonado maldonado's not consistent um and then because i had a uh, a client who i worked on like she was just a regular swedish client and she decided that she wants to go and get surgery and so i was helping her go through and she got the maldonado and she sent me his pictures and i was like okay these are cool i like you know way to go she was like what i sent you a surgeon that you are actually a fan of i usually hate most surgeons work especially or or there's like a downside to it i'm like nah he photoshops he's not consistent he burns he has too high of a body count over my dead fucking body or you going to that person the ones that everybody like clamors over and they like which is why i wanted to start doing these types of um lives uh to give insight on other doctors who are just as amazing bomb talented and safe so she sent me maldonado and i'm like okay cool this is i like him this is fine so i start researching him more and i was like his this is sketchy like from the way that the consultants have you book was sketch. Um, there's no, there wasn't a Facebook page for it. Sketch. Um, his work was very repetitive. And I, I was like, didn't you just post this picture a week ago? You ain't got no more shit to post in this? Sketch. And so I told her, you're not going. I, Maldonado did rub me the wrong way. And whether we call it god or the universe or vibes or frequency or energy it don't lie trust it i've learned to trust it i was and this isn't to say that maldonado's not canceled it's just in this current state ty is not a fan i don't like it would not recommend return to center somebody else can play guinea pig with him if y'all want to not my clients and that wasn't even a client that was my friend i was like i'm not I'm not feeling Maldonado. This whole set setup situation is just not sitting right with me in my spurt. I don't like it. All right, we're gonna move on. Next, I got another blue check for y'all. A hey. Franklin De Jesus. Um, works on BBO clients. Um, does really good lipo. Uh, not works on BBO clients. He he, I think it was BBW. Uh, that's what I was supposed to put, except maybe that, oh, oh, that was a W. My handwriting is some trash, but works on BBW clients. Great BBO projection, great leg lift. Oh, I loved his leg lifts. Can I geek over a leg lift? <laughs> um, and then good arm lipo. 
So I am always interested in looking for surgeons who can work wonders on clients who have a lot of loose skin. As we as women get older, um, especially as we start encroaching upon menopause or if we've already crossed that threshold and getting to menopause, um, the what our hormones wreak havoc on our body and the skin does not respond the same. Um, but not just that. If you have you gain weight and then lost weight and then lost weight and then gain weight, but then you lost it again, but then you lost some more and then you put up some back on and you lost weight. The skin is like, bitch, figure it out. What you want to do? I'm gonna sit here in the corner and then let me know what wave you want me to hop on to. And the skin really just checks out on you. It doesn't continue to go up and down as you go up and down. And so clients who are left with a lot of loose skin just from natural life inflections in uh, fluctuations or if you got VSG, you're a weight loss client. I'm always on the scout of a surgeon who is good with skin, um, heightened amount of skin and weight loss clients. And I love what he did with um, skin clients. I can't call you. I mean, you're not skin clients, but you kind of are. You're more than just skin. I am not my hair or your skin. You're not your skin or your hair. But uh, Franklin De Jesus, very good client if you have a lot of loose skin. I loved the lipo um, that he would do on the arm area, J plasma or vaser, and then um, leg lift. It was just love. I was a fan. All right, next I got surgeon number nine. My kale, my hair's just doing whatever the fuck it wants today. My kale Ferreras. Uh, <laughs> I put that his real self <laughs> account is suspended. <laughs> Um, I couldn't really find my man's Instagram. Okay, so if a surgeon's real self account is suspended, it doesn't mean that he's canceled or he or she is suspended. They're not a good surgeon. It simply means that they didn't want to pay for an account anymore with real self. That's all. It doesn't mean that they're bad or they had a bunch of deaths or something's wrong with them specifically. But it did it it did raise some flags with me, and I'm like, if you're a surgeon, this is. When in Rome, do what the Romans do. I guess my manager was like, yo, I don't need y'all no more for marketing. I'm not doing this anymore. But his real self account is suspended. <laughs> um, the pictures that I found was from his Facebook page. Because I don't think I found. No, I did not find his uh, regular website. Um, but the work was good that I was able to see. Uh, he creates really small waves for clients, good BBL projection, but a lot of the clients were clothed. So I was unable to see how their skin healed. If it healed with a natural look, if they, cause it was some surgeon. I went and I was like, you put this shit up here. I know you saw that fibrosis bro before you posted this. So I do try to pay attention to the skin clarity and, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess I'm gonna go with the word I'm looking for is not quality, but I'm gonna say it anyways. But uh, the quality of the skin, the integrity, I think it was integrity, uh, skin integrity after their procedure. And I wasn't able to see that with my kale, but I did like his work. So, uh, and this was, it was a, a decent amount of work on his business Facebook page. Uh, his name is spelled M as in Mary, A I K E L, my kale, Ferreras. All right, next um, surgeon that I have for the Dominican Republic is Carrera. He's the one that I was just like, I don't, somebody had asked for Carrera. Um, I need a, I need a first name. And I'm assuming that he's in the DR, but um, couldn't find anything on him. So I'm going to sip and just look cute before moving on to the next surgeon. Let's sip again. Take up some of that free time from me not reviewing Carrera. <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> Food just sitting here looking bomb and scrumptious. All right, um, next I have uh, Eduardo. Eduardo. Garrido. Last name is spelled G-A-R-R-I-D-O. 
so with Edward, not sure how much we should trust real self. They were seen whining and dining with Dr. Desai, who is in Cali base. That's suspect, in my opinion. Ooh. Well, the only reason I ever, ever even entertain someone's real self is if I can't find their picture somewhere else. That is the only reason why I go on real self. Fuck real self. It's. Um, it's a business and they're not, they don't have clients best interest in mind. It is a way to get money out of surgeons. And then it's a platform for surgeons to be able to network and market directly with clients answering your questions. Um, and half of the surgeons don't know what the fuck they talking about anyways. Outside of it, you can listen to whatever surgery stuff they say, but the moment that you're out of the OR and you're asking questions about if a then B plus C divide by D half of the answers on real self are wrong as it pertains to post-op. So I don't trust none of them hoes or whores or very nice humans. I'm sure there's some of them on there, but nah, like real self is good for me to go and find pictures when I can't find them anywhere else. That's about it. All right. So Eduardo Garrido, uh, <laughs> I love me some belly buttons. I feel a certain type of way when you got like this bomb body and you got a stupid, uh, credit card swipe looking cat eye belly button i get mad for you even if you have to wear anything else i'm just in here like why your belly button look like it has dementia and then it had a stroke while it's also suffering from bell's palsy so garrito gives out real cute belly buttons that was the first thing i said <laughs> but um clients still had hip dips and um what else he did give, he gives out crazy small waists. Um, the, the clients were natural looking. Um, Ty, what the fuck did you write here? Hold on, let me decode my handwriting. Okay, so that says low. That's a L O W. Low natural tummy tuck lines. He works magic on BBWs safely. So I went and looked into um and i actually was able to talk to a few girls um they never had any complications or any problems so the only thing that i wasn't a fan of with this surgeon otherwise i would have given him a blue check tell what the fuck does this say did this just say yo eight the tummy tucks that can't be what that says great that is a g great at tummy tucks I'm not a fan of the boob jobs. So there were some hit or some misses with Garrido. Um, Garrido does uh, good work on BBWs. Like great, great work on BBWs. Great at tummy tucks. Didn't like the boobs. Um, I didn't put, did I put why I didn't like the boobs? You know, the boobs didn't fit the body, which could be part like trying to make the clients happy. But I was looking at like some of them were breast reductions and breast lifts, not even augmentation. And I was like, you left that like that? They don't look good. So I would not go to Garrido for a mommy makeover. But if you're a BBW looking for a surgeon in the DR, Garrido was good for BBWs with tummy tucks. Just you can't need no titties from him. He ain't the one. Um, and then you can't need no hips from him either. He ain't the one for that either. If you're looking to just get a tummy tuck with some lipo and you're a BBW, Garrido might be your man. Sips tea. All right. The next one that someone asked me about was a surgeon named Rami. Rami Mejia. Rami does good lipo. That almost looks like ab etching, but I asked him and he was very receptive. It wasn't ab etching. It was just lipo. It looked like ab etching. And she didn't, this bitch damn sure ain't had no abs before that. I was like, you did that, sir. I like it. I like it and I love it. Uh, great tummy tuck transformations. I was handing out bodies left and right. Works on men and women. Um, I wasn't crazy about the BBL. So I put decent BBL. It wasn't bad. I was just like, eh, I'll see better. Um, but overall, I wasn't super impressed. Um, maybe I think I just have a high, like if Rami was in America, I would have been like, oh my God. But he's in the DR. I think I just hold DR to a higher standard of like, do you know what you're up against here? These surgeons are amazing and you are mediocre. 
So, um, I, uh, I mean, uh, he wasn't bad. He's just, you're in the DR, sir. Step your game up. Um, but his ab etching and his lipo was phenomenal, and so was his tummy tucks. Everything else was like, eh. Didn't like the boobs. Didn't like, um, the BBL. Didn't like the hips. Um, and then he did, like, some facey shit. I didn't like those either. <laughs> Alright, so I got 20 minutes to get through. 10 more surgeons. Let's do it. Next, I got, uh, Alberto Redonado. Um, not a lot of body work was on his page. Um, did do, he did good boobs. Um, oh, tat removal. He did all the stuff except for the stuff that y'all really be interested in. So, like, butt wasn't there. Wasn't a whole bunch of lipo. But, like, brow lift, tattoo renew removal, vaginal rejuvenation. Like, he had a lot of those on it. How the fuck do you even... I put up a half-naked client and my Instagram is getting taken down. How the fuck you got this many vaginal rejuvenations and you still rocking? I got questions. I had to create no whole... I mean, I was going to do it anyways. But I had to create a whole nother Instagram. Meanwhile, you just got culo left and right. Pussy all over the place. And you just fine. All right, maybe I'm hating. But Ray Donato was cool for everything except for body work stuff. Um, boobs and then all of the other things. Like tats and eyes and eyebrows and all the other stuff. All right, after that, Gladys Polanco was a big fan of Gladys Polanco. She even got a blue check. Hiya, babe! Gladys Polanco is the shit. Um, this bitch gives out life-changing boob jobs. I was sitting here like, can you take my titty through the phone, Gladys? Here, just have it. Do some magic with it and then give it back to me because I need it back. I got a whole husband now. Gladys got life-changing boob jobs going on. She works on BBW clients. She, she might have won. If there was an award for like Thai surgeon of the day, it was Gladys. Gladys Polanco. Someone go tell Gladys, I said, you did that, babe. <laughs> um, she works on skinny clients. She fixes diastasis, hernias. Her, like, hip and gluteal projection was out of this fucking world. And then it matched the legs. I love me some Gladys. I ain't never heard of this bitch before. But I couldn't get enough. Like, I think I, I wasted so much time scrolling. And then all her shit is pink. Like, you can't, you can't go wrong with pink. She get life-changing boob jobs. Got big old booties that match the legs. Teeny old little ass waist. And then everything is pink. Sign me up. Somewhere. Or maybe not. Maybe I just want to come watch. But Gladys is the shit. Love me some her. Alright, next we got Rafael Hernandez. Not as impressive. I want to talk about Gladys more, but I have to move on. Because Instagram is cutting the bitch off. Alright, um... Rafael Hernandez does um, J Plasma Lipo. Um, arm Lipo and Arm Lift was decent. Um, I did love his boob jobs, but the mommy makeover was me. So the Arm Lipo and Arm Lifts were me. Um, boob jobs were me. Well, no, I like the boobs, but the rest of the mommy makeover needed some assistance. Um, that is my unnecessarily extra way of saying assistance. Assistance day. Um, I did like the BBO projection, but not hips. So it was like bad, but then good or bad, but good, but then bad on the hips and then like decent on the stomach. Rafael Hernandez just couldn't get it together. And if I had to sum it up, it would be like a hit or missed. Polanco's last name is P as in Paul. O L A N as in Nancy C O like orgasms. O. <laughs> so Rafael Hernandez, he cool or whatever, but um nothing impressive. If he was in America and I'd be like, Oh yeah, he was I right. I was feeling him. Rafael Hernandez, get your shit together. I was not feeling you. Um next. The next one, two, three, four, five surgeons in a row did the damn thing. So we got Manelic Mejia, consistent great boobs. Eyelid lift was amazing. A uh, beautiful natural lipo. Mommy makeover results were killing it. Beautiful results on thick and skinny clients. BBW clients and men. Great BBL and hip projection. Damn. All right. So we got to put him up there with Gladys because he was just fucking amazing. That first name, though, 
Um, M as in Mary, A N as in Nancy, E L I C, Manelic Mejia. Love this work. I enjoy researching these surgeons. I was like, yes, yes, god damn it, yes. Manelic did the damn thing. Totally was up there with Gladys. All right, next, we got another one who did the damn thing. Blue check, Carlos Lopez Colado. Uh, last name is C-O-L-L-A-D-O. Like orgasms. Um, crazy lipo with small waist. I think out of everyone, Carlos Lopez Colado got the smallest waist on clients. And I was like, hey, how you do that? And you did it safely. There's no complications. They healed really good. How the fuck did you do that? And it was consistent of the, hey, how the fuck did you do that? So if you're looking for a surgeon, you don't have one already, Carlos Lopez Colado. Crazy, crazy, crazy lipo with super small waist consistently. It wasn't a one-hit wonder. My man did it again and again and again. Um, made really good boobs. Does aggressive lipo or natural lipo. Um, does gender reassignment. Works on men and women. Nice little tummy tucks. And I love me a surgeon who can like snatch some backs up without needing the back lift. Colado did that too. Next, I have Rodrigo Escobar Jaramillo. Last name, J-A-R-A-M. It's a Mary. I-L-L-O. Leg orgasms. Yeah, you knew it. You knew it was coming. All right, cool. Because uh, I'm childish. Um, beautiful mommy makeovers. I think out of everyone, I was most impressed with Jaramillo's mommy makeovers. Um, I still love me some Gladys though. Love the consistent V cuts on his clients. So down there, at we technical we call it the ASIS, but it's that area where like the waist curves in and it meets the hip, and then you just got that like deep ass V cut on both sides. Like, um, yeah, all of his clients had some mean ass, dope ass V cuts. Um, great breast augs, breast reduction, and breast lifts. Did rhinoplasty, did BBWs, mommy makeover transformations, great BBL, and hip projection. So, um, add that to your list of surgeons that you're like, hmm, I might need to look into you. So far, my super faves are Gladys Polanco, Manelic Mejia, Carlos Lopez Colado, and Rodrigo Escobar Jaramillo. All right, cool. After that, we have Luis Andres Cordero. Last name is spelled C-O-R-D-E-R. -E yep. Oh, just like orgasms. You so smart. I'm going to sip to you. Mm. All, right. All right. So here's another surgeon who's like killing it with the skinny BBLs. Um, and with lipo removes a lot of skin with, um, oh no. So skinny BBLs and lipos bomb removes a lot of skin. There were clients who had so much loose skin. And then I went back and I was like, what'd you do with it? How'd you do that? Show me, show me, show me. But skin gone, clients healed really good. And it wasn't a little stupid cereal box cut. Having you walk around looking like SpongeBob's sister and shit. Um, had some curves going on at the bottom, curves on the, on the side. Um, uh, he moved a lot of skin and fat on skinny and thick dolls. Just all his showing out and shit. Um, so not BBW though. He works. So I didn't see any BBW. He does skinny and he does thick. He's not a BBW surgeon, but I still love him. Still fuck with him. Still gave him a blue check. Um, he works on VSG dolls. So if you got skin lifts, he's another skin lift doll. I, I was just like, where the fuck the skin go? What you do? How'd you do that? I got questions. Um, skin lift clients, uh, like a surgery wizard. I don't know what the fuck that means, but I, I just feel like he would be in there saying like Harry Potter spells and shit, making it disappear. Let me pick that up. I need that. <laughs> All right. So his name again is Luis Andres Cordero. It ends in an O, like orgasms. Next, I have Jose Hungria. Not an A. Uh, not an O. It's an A. But last name is H U N G R A. There's an A in orgasms. Yay! Babe! Cast some orgasms later. What? 
I swear I stress this man out. All right. I put yo with an exclamation mark afterwards. These transformations, crazy hips, flat stomachs, does liposculpture. And he was like, no, I need you to understand. It's liposculpture, not liposuction. It's on his website. It translates into, I don't do liposuction. I do liposculpture. All right. Um, he does bomb liposculpture. And like, he wants you to know, not liposuction. This is liposculpture. I am sculpting. You are a work of art. You are my canvas. You, I will make you beautiful. Boom. That was him. Hungria. Um, BBO on clients who would normally need a tummy tuck. He took clients that needed tummy tucks, gave them some bomb ass liposculpture, got the skin to retract, got them some projection on the hips and the booty, and they really needed a tummy tuck and they didn't get it and they still look amazing. Consistently amazing. All right, um, back results were bomb. Um, works on older clients. Like he also wants you to know that if you are in a 40 plus club, that might be your dude. Specializes in clients who have loose skin or who are older, specifically past menopause. Um, does amazing work on BBW clients and skinny dolls. DR is just showing the fuck out today. I'm just, can y'all tell how excited I am? Hold on, wait, this is how excited I am. Cause y'all ain't get on my nerves. This goddamn we talking about. Time me find a surgeon. Go watch that live, shorty. It's like six, seven of them up in there. Somebody, somebody got work for you in this whole shebangery. Who is this again? Which one? Which one? Which one? That last one. That last one was Jose Hungria. H U N G R I A. Like the A that's in orgasms. Jose. Hungrier. I will do a recap of the bomb surgeons. We got two more left. One is bomb. One not so much. But it's okay because I didn't hit y'all with how many bomb surgeons so far? One. He just happened to be in Mexico. My bad about that. So we're going to skip that one. One, two, three, four. Where's that three? I think my wine just kicked in. Hey, wine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Out of the 20 surgeons I reviewed, uh, uh, 10 of them for the shit. Mm. <laughs> oh, boom. All right, cool. Uh, next surgeon, Mazael Guzman Reyes. That first name, <laughs> M is a Mary, A S S I E L. <laughs> Maziel Guzman Reyes. Does men, does women, does boobs, does really small waist. Um, great bedside manner, low tummy tucks, smooth, natural healing. Um, skin looks bomb. Doesn't even look like they had any work done. Not one. I went through like a hundred of this man's pictures. Nobody looked like they had no fucking work done. Like I'm a whole free spirit and I'll be in the strip club like, you got your body done. You got your body. You definitely got your body done and you ain't get no massages. Nobody looked like they had anything done. Um, clients are proportionate. Snatch game was crazy. Love me some Maziel. M A. I just want to give him a hug through the phone. I want to hug the clients. I want to hug him. I want to sit in the OR room. Like, how'd you do that? M A S S I E L. Maziel Guzman Reyes. Last surgeon of the day. All right, um, I got Franklin Pena. Did somebody ask me for for Franklin, or did I do that on my own? Um, it was all right. It was cool. Uh, looks good. Um, and now, so Franklin Pena has a blue check in real life, but it wasn't enough of his real work. You know who he reminded me of? He reminded me of a Dominican Doctor Miami. Where I really think that he got like all his clout and all his hype and all his notoriety. But I'm looking at his work and I'm like, make it make sense. I don't like this. It wasn't bad. It was just hella fucking basic. And not even DR basic. It was like local American surgeon kind of basic. And not even in a good way. It was cereal boxy. Um, and there weren't enough, like, 
I feel like he just started feeling himself over time. I swear he was like the DR Dr. Miami. Um, it was a lot of clients who were on the table with a booty tooted up. Um, uh, his clients were fresh out of surgery. You can't judge a surgeon like that. If you're posting fresh out of surgery pictures or on the table pictures, where are your healed clients? You scared? Post them. Toss them up. Where they at? Let me see. He ain't had none of that. But uh, Franklin Pena is a pop, uh, apparently popping in these streets. In these Santo Domingo streets. I don't know who the fuck going to him. But I be having the same question about who the fuck still going to Desenia. And then I see a Desenia doll died. And I'm like, oh, that's who the fuck still going to Desenia. So Franklin Pena is like the DR version of Dr. Miami. Except bitches ain't dying. They look basic. I don't like it when clients look like they had nothing done. I feel like you robbed them, you owe them money, and an apology, written in three different languages, with a calligraphy pen. Because that shit was bad, for as much as I know this man charges. But, not my body, not my money, not my problem. I'm just a messenger. Um, My name is Ty, I drink and shit, and I review surgeons on Tuesdays and shit. And because we're on a new platform, it cut me off yesterday. So I did not get to do our typical Monday giveaways that I usually do. So come join me again tomorrow. <laughs> and we'll do our Monday giveaway on Wednesday. Because it's my channel. And I can do what I want. And I'm a boss and shit. One of my employees, like, I was talking about something. And she was like, hey, Ty, why do you have such an extreme problem with authority? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't like being told what to do at all by anybody <laughs> so um we'll uh reconvene same place same time tomorrow and i'll do monday's giveaway on wednesday if you have any surgeons that you would like for me to review or any areas the lineup if you're just joining us the the lineup on tuesdays every tuesday i review surgeons based around area and if you can't stay the whole time that's fine you can come check me later and uh, i save all of the lives here on Instagram as well as on uh, YouTube. So next week is going to be Georgia, the state, not the country. Then uh, the following week is going to be Los Angeles. Then after that, we got Colombia, the country, not the city. And then after that, we have Mexico. So if there is an area that you live in, you want me to help you find a surgeon. Um, I offer consultations where I, uh, Julianne Flores, where is Julianne Flores? Um, I <clears throat> offer pre-surgery consultations, post-operative consultations, but this is a whole free platform where I sit here and take the time to answer y'all questions and shit and help y'all research and find stuff. So while I'm here, you're here. My champagne and wine is here. Bay is here. My whole fiance, pew, that was a ring drive by. Um, this is my fidget spinner ring that I use to help calm down my anxiety and my nervousness. Um, that is not my engagement ring. My engagement ring is so pretty because they did a great job. Thank you, babe. He don't know, but I'm getting a whole bunch of orgasms later. Or maybe he does know it because I warned him. Any hoosies. Um, so uh, on uh, DR. So this was part two on DR. Um... And this is only in Santo Domingo. Like, that doesn't even include... I got a minute and 15 seconds to talk to y'all before it cuts me off. That doesn't even include Punta Cana, Puerto Plata, Boga... No, Bogota is in um, Colombia. Boca Chica, Uruguay. DR is a whole big-ass country. So, I'll make a whole part three. We will come back to the DR after Mexico. Um, and then I will review... What's his name? Julianne Flores then but yeah y'all know where to find me I'm pretty responsive unless I'm high or I'm off of which I'll respond the next day um thanks for coming and kicking it with me I hope y'all learned yo you got one two three. you got I, I counted them already I had to catch myself before counting again y'all got 10 bomb ass surgeons you need to go look up boom um Pantoya in Mexico Pan Toya. yeah mexico is in four weeks so next week we'll be covering the state of georgia thanks for hanging out with me <laughs> and letting me a whole fucking fool on your channel don't be good today when well, you were meant to be great
Sofia.